Hey there team, today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to fix your Tempo Trainer Pro. Now, if you've had one of these Tempo Trainer Pros for a while, you may have had some issues over the time with things like batteries, feeling like they're running out, or displays not working, etc. Well, I've got a few tips for you today to get you working with your Tempo Trainer and hopefully saving you a little bit of money and certainly a little bit of frustration. The first thing we need to make sure is what is the battery status of the Tempo Trainer. Now, it's not gonna show you that, but you'll get a bit of an idea by how clear the screen is there. So turn your Tempo Trainer on by holding the bottom right hand button and it will go back to the mode and the setting that you last had it set at. If you can't see anything, well, maybe we have got a flat battery, but let's dig into that and make sure we know exactly what's going on here. We're using the bottom left hand button or the right hand button, take it up and down, have a little play with it. Press the top button just to hear the sound of the audio. Is it loud? Is it soft? Just like so, but if you're watching this video, then maybe you have got a dud tempo trainer or one that's not turning on. So let's have a little closer look. Now I've got two tempo trainers here. And if we have a little look at the back in the black square just here, that top layer, the last two digits indicate what year this tempo trainer was produced. So on my left here, I've got a 2016 model, which is still working, and a 2018 model here. If you have a little look at the internals of that, on the 2016 model, we don't really have a clip to overlay over the battery, whereas now in the 2018 model, we do. So the battery on the 2018 model slides under through here and clips in. The 2016 model just lays and rests on here like so. So one of the tips for an older Tempo trainer is to take the battery casing, grab yourself a pair of scissors and maybe an old paracetamol pack or something like that and just create a little bit of foil here and place that in the top of the lid. What I'd also recommend you do is pull the prong very gently with your finger just to raise it up slightly, place the battery in and here's the key thing now, place the lid upside down. So we've got open and close or lock and unlock but if we actually put this lid upside down, so you can see open and close is upside down there, and grab something like a key or maybe a 10 cent piece and just turn and push that down. Because of the silver foil, it makes everything push up against it a little bit easier and create those contacts, those better contacts. Now let's turn it over, press and hold, and bang. Now, because I've actually taken the battery out, obviously we've reset to the default there, which is one second. To bring that back up to something like 25 seconds does take quite some time. So just allow yourself a little bit of time if you're coaching with these or swimming with these on pool deck. Now for the 2018 model and anything beyond that point, we shouldn't need to utilize the foil. All we need to do is go in here and again, just gently pull on the contact up slide the battery in and again you can have a go either putting it the right way up with the lid let's see how that goes yeah this tempo trainer is in pretty good nick but just to show you how it works like take it the other way around so we're upside down turn it on and we've still got a working model right there as well now let's talk about the battery that we're gonna use for your Tempo Trainer Pro. It's a CR1620. And these little bad boys are quite hard to come across, especially in smaller pharmacies or chemists. So you might want to look at ordering these online and certainly buying in bulk is a lot cheaper. Over here in Australia, we can expect to pay around about $6 for one of these, but I can typically find them bulk buy for around about $2 a piece. I also like to keep a little bag of spares with me on the pool deck because I do literally have dozens of these tempo trainers on the pool deck for my coaching and i dare say that these get used more than any other tempo trainer on the planet uh, we have 12 squad sessions per week they're always in use so they do get a real good hit out here and as you can see here i've got a little baggie full of those button batteries and also i hang on to quite a few of the lids as well now if you do have a dud tempo trainer before you dispose of it definitely hang on to one of these little lids because it's always useful as a replacement part just in case you happen to break the plastic seal when you're taking your batteries in and out 
and equally just give you the opportunity to see whether or not you get a better seal from a different lid. They all come from the same factory of course but sometimes just tweaking and swapping the lids around does really make a bit of a difference there. So there we go hopefully those little tips help you get your tempo trainer back up and working. Final tip from me though is if you receive one of these gadgets through the post and you think I can't turn it off or I can't turn it on past 0.03 then believe it or not, you've still got the sticky label stuck on the front. You would not believe how many of these we get sent back. People saying, I can't change it beyond 0.03. That's just the protective casing over the top of the LCD screen here. So make sure you turn that off.